All right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning. Sun's just beginning to rise. 1933 Ford, three window coupe, street rod. We're gonna walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. We may get interrupted by a car too as we cruise around here, so I'm gonna step out of the road. Very cool, finished in a chamois gold with Tangier orange flames on it. What's really neat about this car, I don't believe I've ever represented one. We had it up on the lift. Um, and we're going to share that with you as we cruise around here. But as you look at the Tangier flames here, these flames actually are a mirror image on the bottom side of the fenders, the bottom side of the running boards here. Bottom side of the rear fenders. Up front here, this is a Ronson uh, composite body, so it's a fiberglass body. Very nicely done, very smooth, has that 33 Ford look and feel structure of this body is good. These are really, really nice early bodies. Uh, it has sh shaved door hinges on it. It has a two and a half inch chop on the top. Retains its factory uh, handles on the trunk, that type of thing to kind of give you that stock feel. Stock 33 uh, taillights with shortened stanchions and LED inserts in them. I think these are Budnick wheels. We'll have tire sizes and everything for you at Spud's Garage. We put it up on the lift and uh, did that before we came out here. Underneath the hood here is a uh, 350 Vor Vortec. Full roller valve train in it. Uh, turbo 350 automatic transmission. Edelbrock four barrel. Custom suspension. It actually has a uh, Roadster Shop chassis underneath it. We'll get into the specs of Spud's Garage. It's too hard to cover everything. I do have a cheat sheet in my hand, but uh, as you know, we'll cover a lot of stuff at Spud's Garage. We'll actually post a good portion of this spec, spe spec sheet at Spud's Garage. Beautiful chamois. Chamois gold. Nice peep mirrors on it. Has a very, very nice uh, Steve Holcomb. Pro One Auto Interiors out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Interior in it, full leather interior. Nice sculpted door panels. Well-known interior. Hot Rods by Kirby is who the car was built by. The flames were done by Kirby. Kind of get the dash there, the feel there. German square weave carpet. Nice little package shelf on the bottom side. Tilt steering column. Get my motor running here this morning. Audio here, there's a remote on the package shelf up front. Seat belts, power windows. Really nice body like I talked about. These Ronson bodies are strong, a lot of structure to them. Doors shut nice. Again, these flames follow all the way through. They follow up onto the dash. Bottom side of the fenders. Through the firewall, bottom side of the hood. want to see a cool affordable hot rod. I, we drove this down to the park here and very very nice driving street rod. Thirty, uh, 33 three window. Three window 33. Nice to have it retain the uh, uh, fuel door back here and the door handles in the back. Cover the trunk here for you. Steve Holcomb Pro One interiors. The other flames follow there. That over there is a uh, connection point for the battery tender. The, there's an Optima battery behind this panel and then the audio access. Slightly older build hot rod, but very well nicely preserved. As uh, somebody's coming here, so I'll back out of the road. Recess license plate. This kind of car you can drive. Like I said, we drove it down here um, to the park. Eh, 10 miles round trip. Nice and cool this morning. It's 90 degrees early in the morning. Have a suit here. Car has almost 25,000. We'll give you the Odo here in just a minute or just over 25,000 miles since it was built. So it's clearly the type of hot rod that was built with driving in mind. Hot rods by Kirby. Kirby Flames. Tilt steering column here, matching Budnick steering wheel. You'll see the flames come there. It's 
see how they flow. The flames flow off the hood and come over and down to the dash here and flows over. AC controls are down low here on the right side. Over on the left side is the ignition key. 24,390 miles at the time of inspection. Starts right up, no issues. Low car shifter on the floor here, the German square weave carpet and a mat. 13 volts on the volt gauge. Fuel gauge is uh, just under half, between a quarter and a half. Tachometer shows about seven, 800 RPMs. Water temp, got a flex cooling fan, no overheat issues that I can tell on this trip, starting to drive it at 40 some pounds of oil, of oil pressure. Has suicide locks on the doors here. As we get out and have it running, I'm gonna give you a peek of those mirror flames and then make sure you hang on to the end of the video. Doors sit nice like that. See the mirror flames. Thanks for listening to me. Have a great day. All right, we'll get you underneath the hood here and cover the engine compartment. Notice how we talked about the flames kind of flow all the way through the car, mirror image, top and bottom. You'll see they flow over the firewall, over the roof panel there. Bottom side of the hood matches the top side of the hood where it comes to flames, hence the mirror image. Vortec 350 V8, nicely done. Uh, we'll have a spec sheet at Spud's Garage. Edelbrock, Edelbrock uh, air gap intake manifold. Uh, Edelbrock four barrel carburetor, custom air filter, ignition shroud here with a Mallory HEI distributor, low car controls, uh, billet belt drive here, uh, AC compressor here, receiver dryer or the uh, coolant reservoirs over there, receiver dryer for the ACs here, nice flex cooling fan. Short tube block hugger headers, turbo 350 automatic transmission, VIN numbers down here, dual exhaust, Ford 8 inch rear differential, custom chassis like we talked about. There you go. Alright, we got it fired up here. We're going to take you for a little test drive as we head back. One to show you the windows are tinted. I have the AC on, it's cold power windows get tinted you get the look and feel take it back to Spud's garage probably we'll have a couple different clips here for you been starting it running it all morning it's probably already 90 degrees here in Havasu so uh, start and run start and run start and run temperatures perfect flex fan Four-wheel wheel, wheel disc brakes on it. All right, we just turned onto the highway. Easy driving car. I'm one-handed driving it. Speedo's working 60 mile an hour. Actually, a very quiet ride. Hey, thanks for listening to me. Make sure you uh, hang on to the end of the video. We'll get it up on the left. Have a great day. Very cool. Nicely done. Uh, I don't think I've seen a mirror image flame job like I've seen on this car, but we're going to kind of give you a feel as we go up into here. The flames are a mirror in image of the top side of the car. In the center body here, the flames come off the front and actually the bottom side of the hood we've already talked about all that but these flames carry over all the way through the bottom side of the fenders up to the front fenders but let's get to back to the back suspension here it has a uh, custom reinforced uh, uh, rear end housing here Ford rear end housing has Carrera chromed and polished uh, 
coil, adjustable coilover shocks on it. Fuel pump here has up recently updated Willwood disc brakes over the last few years in the rear. Had Willwood to begin with, but he did the modern version of the Willwood disc brakes, braided lines, that type of thing. This chassis is uh, the body, whole body and underside is finished in the uh, chamois gold with uh, Tangier orange flames and Tangier orange components. Uh, the housing itself is a uh, Ford 8 inch rear housing with uh, 355 gear ratio. The frame was built by Roadster Shop. Roadster Shop chassis underneath it here. These are custom lower control arms in the back or trailing arms, whatever you'd like to call them. Custom box hand built components, Roadster Shop. There's the C notch up to the top, does have a pan hard bar. Uh, Flowmaster mufflers exit down here on the side, but the chassis was all finished when it was built. You gotta get a look at these mirror flames all the way through here. Very cool tubular inner structure, fully box, chass box chassis. Little jack mark there, and I think there's a little jack mark up front there by the uh, four bar mounts. But you'll see the flames go up through the fenders there. Date code on the back tires are about 2015, front tires 2017. We've studied those. Turbo 350 automatic transmission. We'll have all the specs at spudsgarage.com. Single reservoir master cylinder. You imagine the amount of time it takes to mirror image the flames from the top side of the car. Pete and Jake style front suspension, uh, four bar front suspension, drop chrome tube axle up front. It has a uh, unisteer style rack and pinion on it. All the components are the same thing with the front Willwood disc brakes, braided lines, modern calipers updated since it was built. You'll see the flames are a mirror image of the top side of the fender here. They flow to the back, all the way to the back. 350 V8 here, short tube headers, dual exhaust like we talked about, Roadster Shop chassis. The front's actually been boxed here too for the frame clearance. C notch, not box. It's been boxed and C notch, so C notch front and rear. Bilstein chrome gas shocks up front. Tell your buddies this kind of thing, you tell you, get out of there and look, my flames come underneath the flame, underneath the fenders. It's mirror image, top bottom. So 360 flames is what I'd call it, 360 paint. Nice and quiet in Spud's garage here. All right, we got the 33 down to about Isla height so I can do the uh, bird's eye walk around here and kind of give you a feel. Three window 33. Tire size in the rear are 275-60R17s, they're Continental tires. Kind of catch the flames there in the view from the outside of the car. They match the top side. Front tires up here are 145R15s. These are dated 2017, the rears are dated uh, uh, 2015s. Give a look at the front here. Flames. Chin's nice, custom grill there. Look here. I'll have the tire specs and everything on Spud's garage. I mean the wheel specs.